Hi guys. Another thing we get asked quite often is what happens if you cut your LED strip but it's not on one of the cut points. So for argument's sake, you cut it right up the middle between these 100mm cut points. Um, the answer is quite simple. Um, that section, it just won't work. It requires the whole, uh, the whole section to complete the circuit for the LEDs to work inside it. So if you do cut it in the middle of the section, it will only work all the way up until that point and it won't work afterwards because uh, there's no completed circuit. If you've ordered your LEDs and you've got a project of, let's say it's 1.15 meters and you've been supplied 1.1 meter length, you don't have to run your LEDs all the way down to one end because you're only 50 mil short. So all, all I would do is I would center it up so you've got a 25mm gap at the start, 25mm gap at the end, and the wide beam angle of the LEDs would help to fill that gap and reduce any dark spots that could occur. Um, but obviously you want to see me cut an LED not at a cut point to show you that it doesn't work. So first things first, I'm just going to turn off the power and unplug it. I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut right down the middle and then plug it all back in and turn it on. Now you can see that the LEDs work up to the cut point and they don't work afterwards. This is because the circuit is not completed and the other half of the circuit is in the piece that I just cut off. So you cannot cut outside or not on the cut points, but you can trim it a little bit shorter using the cut points and center it up and use the wide beam angle to fill in the dark spots that may occur.